was, oh my god, how awesome is that? And oh my god. Wow. Oh my gosh, these guys absolutely crushed the food this lab. A lot of times they can't get their back way over and they can drop. Eric is now the largest producer of Everglades rat snake. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. It's gonna be a banger of a day. I hope that you have an amazing day, too. Actually, waiting on a shipment that's gonna get here that I am super excited to share with you guys. I, a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie to you, but anyways, shipping should be here any minute, and you guys are gonna be blown away at what I'm about to get. And it's finally here, guys, and I know that it is an emotional thing, and a lot of people are like, Brian, you shouldn't do it, but the truth is, I took a poll on the community channel. You guys might have participated in that, as well as I kinda just decided, you know what, just like with Ben and Jerry, if you don't take risks, how are you going to actually get there? So listen, I understand the risk I'm taking. The good news is, is that snapping turtles typically have a much better survival rate than sliders when it comes to two-headed. There seems to be a lot higher rate of them actually doing well all the way into adulthood. So you know what? This one's been around for a little bit. It's supposedly doing extremely well, eating like crazy. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to take the risk because I know if it lives, some kids are going to come in in the next year or two or whatever. And they're going to be like, oh my God, how awesome is that? And oh my gosh. Wow. 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 Holy cow. And the thing I love about it, again, is this isn't a tiny baby. Oh my God. This thing is like out of a horror movie or something like that. Oh my gosh. It is the cutest, most little adorable thing in the world. Take a look at this. And it's really crazy because a lot of times two-headed turtles, they'll only have two legs on the side. This one was interesting because it actually has four legs on both sides. So it literally has two legs in the middle. So there's a head, two legs ahead, and then legs on either side. What a trip. It's really rare to have six legs instead of just having four legs on a two-headed turtle. I think it almost looks like it has a third head. I mean, what an absolute trip. This thing is a Adorable, And again, because it looks like it's got some size to it, it's really doing well. I think we're going to have really good success with this animal. Of course, there's a risk, people. And I'm going to be totally honest with you. Even when I asked you guys, should I do it? What should I do? And overwhelmingly, people said, hey, you got to give it a risk. I was almost thinking about not sharing it with you guys and waiting six or eight months just to see that it was doing well. Because I listen, I know that there's the emotional thing. If they don't make it, it's definitely going to be an emotional hit to me. But the truth is, I'm willing to take that risk, much like Ben and Jerry. You know? I love those animals so much. And if I would have given up every time I wasn't successful with the two-headed snake, I wouldn't have Ben and Jerry, no. So here it is, guys, the two-headed snapping turtle. Unbelievable. Obviously, we're going to go ahead and get them set up here in a little bit. But I also am going to need a name for this guy. So go down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, here we go again, swinging for the fences, guys. That's just how I've always been. This animal is awesome. And how many kids come into the reptarium and ask about a two-headed turtle? This is going to make a lot of people really happy, including myself, for sure. So uh, all right, going to go set things up, get him in his tank, and we'll go from there. Looks like Bowser is on the hunt. These guys are ambush predators, meaning that when his mouth is open and that little lure is going, he wants to eat. Now, a lot of people have asked me, what do we feed them? We give them a lot of variety. We give them fish. We sometimes give them rodents, sometimes chicken. Today, we're going to give them Missouri crocodile chow, which is a pelleted food that has all the nutrition that he needs. Let's see if he'll eat. When it comes to hatching reptiles, there's no doubt that the little baby frillies here <laughs> run to the top of the coolest things that we hatched this year. I've never hatched frill dragons, never even tried to breed them before, and they are so absolutely cute and absolutely adorable. When we throw crickets in, which I'm gonna do in a second here, it's kind of funny, like they're so lazy if the crickets don't run right in front of their face, they don't even care about them. But uh, we've been taking them out, putting them in a bucket, throwing crickets in, and they just destroy the crickets. So uh, I'll go ahead and throw some crickets in here. But these guys might be the cutest things I've hatched out all year. Oh my 
gosh, these guys absolutely crushed the food this lab. Like I said, the last time we threw in, they just kind of sat there and unless the crickets came right by them, they were just like, whatever. This time they jumped down and they murdered those crickets. They are definitely turning out. That was awesome. Okay, so here is the setup that we have right now. We wanted to have about an inch or so of water because two-headed turtles, believe it or not, can sometimes flip over on their back. And when they flip over, unlike a normal turtle, a lot of times they can't get their back way over and they can drown. So we don't want too much water in here. We want a little bit of gravel. We went with the lighter gravel so you could actually see the animal. And then we had some foliage so they can maybe hide back here, kind of move around. The other thing is if something does happen where it flips over, it's got things to grab onto to hopefully right itself. We'll obviously keep a close eye on it. Regardless, let's go ahead and put these monkeys in here and see how they do. And here they go. There you guys go. What do you think? <laughs> they're in the water. Okay, they're starting to wake up just a little bit. Moving around, they're gonna get their self kind of situated. And I know some people are gonna think I'm crazy probably for getting another two-headed turtle because two-headed animals have such a mortality rate. But listen, guys, I love this thing. Look at how freaking cool it is moving around like that. Oh my gosh, both heads came up for a breath of air. <laughs> Unbelievable. And the reason I like these is number one, snappers typically do well. Number two, the heads are really separated, which tells me they have a little bit better chance because if they're too close together, sometimes there can be other issues. Regardless, uh, there he is. He's set up. Need a name in the comments. Comments, let me know what you guys think and uh, and hey listen I hope that you guys approve of the fact that I'm still willing to try because I think it's gonna be an amazing educational tool for kids so uh, there it is my two-headed snapping turtle tomorrow is the big day the anniversary party here at the Reptarium 12 o'clock to 8 o'clock things coming together or no they're coming together but uh, there's still a lot of work to do and it's it's, it's going to be wire. crazy. Yeah. Down to the wire. So, you know me, guys. I say this all the time, but, you know, I get so nervous. Like, I think maybe no one's going to show up. But hopefully, it'll be a great event. We're really putting a lot into it. We're hoping everyone comes out. Again, out in the parking lot, we'll have animals and a whole bunch of other stuff. And, and it's uh, free to be out in the parking lot with all the animals, take pictures, hang out with us. The whole crew will be here so you can meet everybody. Uh, and then you can come in the rep chair and have a good time. If you want, 12 to 8 tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Wish me luck. Quick egg cut. <laughs> quick egg cutting really quick. Oh my God. A real quick egg cutting, four eggs only, so this won't take too long. This is actually an albino clown that's bred to a double head albino clown. So we can get albinos half a clown, we can get double head albino clowns, we can get albino clowns potentially, but we only have four eggs. On average, we would think that we would get one albino clown, one albino heifer clown, and then a couple double heifer clowns. That's the kind of averages that goes. Let's go ahead and jump in and just see if our odds are with us or against us. And this side, right off the back, and see it's an albino. It's an albino, and guess what? It's an albino clown. Right off the rip, we hit an albino clown. The thing that's nice about this is that this is the first time this double hat female actually proved out to be a hat for clown, so that's always good. Listen, we thought it was because we produced it, but you never know when there's maybe sperm retention or something like that, so the first time a hat proves out is always the best. So now we know we have a double hat albino clown. Let's just go ahead and jump into these last few eggs. Interestingly enough, I'm gonna just show you real quick. These two eggs here are light. I'm assuming they're probably albinos because they just don't have the dark look to them. This one, I can almost see that there's something dark in it. Let's go ahead and see if my presumption is correct and that these are albinos. So we're gonna go ahead and cut into this one. And guess what, right after, I was totally wrong. But it's a clown. It's a clown hat for albino. <laughs> Here I was gonna try to act like I knew what I was doing and I completely blew up in my face. So we have a clown hat for albino, an albino clown. So, so far the odds have been really good. Let's go ahead and see if this one is an albino. This one isn't an albino either. Man, I totally ruined this one. This is actually just a normal that's a double hat for albino clown. I think I see something dark in this last egg, but you know, maybe it's an albino for all I know. One last egg. Let's go ahead and cut into this and see what we have. All right, let's see what we have. And just another double head albino clown. So not bad. We got an albino clown. We got a clown head for albino. We got a couple double heads. So hey, I'll take that every day of the week. Uh, not a bad way to do some egg cutting. Noah is fresh off his 24-hour challenge with Lucy. Remember I told you? Well, the video is dropped. I'm going to put a link right down in the description and uh, it will be pinned comment. So go check it out. Uh, how you feeling? I feel much better now. When I was over, I felt horrible. You know, I just was kind of sick. I ate so many peanut butter and jellies. It was not good, but we but, survived. But we kind of ruined it right now because you're still alive. So we yeah. ruined it. He lives, okay? Link in the description. Go show that some love. Definitely a banger of a video. Eric, you're a happy man today, huh? Dude, so oh, yeah. cool. So cool. What, so, what happened? I don't know. What, what happened? Let's just say Eric is now the largest producer of Everglades rat snakes in Lake Orion. In Lake uh, Orion? 
Just some oh, like Oh, look at Whoa, it. Oh, my yeah. God. Go ahead, Noah, pick it up. He'll get you. He's already feisty. Look at him. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, he tamed him right he looks out. looks just like his daddy. He does. he does. So Eric actually has this clutch <laughs> of eggs that Eric and Mary bred. They're Everglades rat snakes, and these are the very first ones that you had, so you're excited. Huh? Oh, so cool. It's actually the first snakes we've ever kind of hatched out or really? bred or anything, so we've always just kind of been collectors, you know, oh, but God. put the two together, magic's going to happen. Am oh, I right? He well, died. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, no, that's oh, it. You gotta get that. Yeah. Oh, here we go, here it's we go. stuck in the corner. Oh, geez, got it really. You can move there it. we go. Oh, yeah, you can move it. There we go. Oh, there we go. man. You guys are excited. We're so excited. So how's it I'm feel not. to be an uncle? Uh, I wish he was a little more handsome. <laughs> more um, handsome? Look at that face. Look, look at how that. cute that is. Look at that. Oh, oh look it's it. just oh, it's pooping on you. Just, it just peed on me. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. I you know, that was musk. Welcome to fatherhood, you know. It was musk. I peed on my dad a lot when I was a baby. Oh, yeah. No, same here. I just let him lose. He just stopped a couple years ago. Oh, so. I know. Oh, it's, 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 <laughs> all right. Well, congratulations. Thank man. you so much, got, man. Got a little baby Klubert update coming up. Let's see if we can get through this without letting any snakes out. This is actually a beautiful clutch right here. This is actually an Abbott's Okatee scaleless clutch. I mean, I tell you what, I'm going to put this little dude in the water really quick. Get some of that vermiculite off, and then you can see how absolutely stunning that is. Again, that Abbott's Okatee is a locality line bred animal to have those really wide black saddles and then scale is whoo i tell you what they look absolutely incredible of course we have just a couple hats here another little abbots there so that's pretty cool let's go ahead and get that lid on hey so far i'm doing really good i tell you what i think that i'm feeling good and confident about the future up oh, until i open this box i'm not as confident right now so what we have here is just a little albino scale let's get some of that vermiculite out and just you can take a look at how absolutely gorgeous the albino scale is here looks like we've got a couple other scale and what's really cool about this clutch is we have some halloween pump Oh my gosh, wait a second. Uh oh. Okay, so we have. Let's get this little monkey back in here. We have some Halloween Pueblin milk snakes. Again, Halloween is coming. The Halloween has a little bit more red in it. The real good Halloweens don't have hardly any red. And they're just orange and black. But nevertheless, some pretty cool animals in this clutch right here. We'll just kind of take a look right there. Oh, yeah. Look at some of these here. Oh, this is almost like, uh-oh. This is more like an Oreo. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, sheesh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, I literally had snakes everywhere. That was manically crazy. I, I tell you, I had snakes all over the place. I had to run and grab a bucket really quick. Uh, regardless, got them back in. Now, this is kind of opposite of the Halloween. This is what they would call an Oreo Pueblo. So this is basically the Halloween without the apricot. Just a normal, and again, it has a little bit of red on it. The best ones don't have any red at all, but let's go ahead and see if we can get this little guy. <laughs> Putting one snake in that box is not gonna be easy. So I'm gonna set my camera down for one second and hope for the best. Check really quick for heads, make sure no heads are stuck. Whew. That was uh, that was a tough one, I gotta be honest with you. And then of course we have just a really cool het coral diffuse. It looks like this one right here is a coral diffuse corn, which is the blood red corn, of course. Coral as well, really beautiful animals. Just a bunch of really cool corn snakes here, loving it. So again, onto the nitty gritty when it comes to clubber eggs. I'm not gonna lie to you, we only have a handful of clutches left, but I tell you, I am gonna miss hatching these little babies, but we'll get you updated on some cool pictures as they start growing and feeding and stuff like that. They're absolutely incredible. I know I'm taking a risk with a two-headed turtle, I know that there's a chance that things may not work out well, but again, you got to take risks to get to where you want to go, and I'm willing to accept the responsibility of those risks. The fact is, that animal is here. Whether I have it or someone else has it, I've got to give it the best chance it possibly can for survival, and hopefully it works out. If you guys enjoyed this, this is a video of the last two-headed turtle I got. Here's a playlist of a whole bunch of really cool stuff I hope that you guys will go check out, please. Over here, you can subscribe. Hit that post notification bell. Be kind to someone today, and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.